Hey, guy. Shin here. Long time no T. I got my PT finally upgraded. I got it done about two days ago. But I tried I wouldn't record right away. First, I would find a good recording software, but not just that. But I wanted to take a few days to a few wait a few days until I wait until after a few days. Why? Because I'm doing a 30 day challenge. Um, where I do play nothing but ADT because I want to twist my main role over to ADT. It's the role I find most enjoyable. So I just would never good at it. So, that's what I've been doing, and I've been getting relatively good. So, this was an interesting game, as you can see from Little Leaf. He had like four to, I don't know, that like 25 minutes. So, let's just take a quick rune look. Leo Temple, Triumph, Bloodline, Coup de Gras, Medical Footwear, Bit of Delivery. Highest damage on my team, second highest in the game. And hey, let's do it. Try uh, if I team a little rush. I've been, it is like, I've been trying to record all day, but I've been into so many issues. So, like, what would happen is when I finished the recording, I would find out that I recorded a black dream. Um, because this, my league was in full dream mode at the time, so it would record a, ended up recording a black dream, and I didn't realize it would do that. So, like, I kept trying over and over, change of time, trying over and over. Ultimately, I found out I just had to put it in windowed, and I'll be fine. So, yeah, that's all I had to do, put it in windowed. And thanks to this, uh, corner talk where I can actually record... Oh. With a webcam! <laughs> so you guys can see my lovely, lovely face and lovely, lovely beard. The beard of an Irishman. Alright. <laughs> So, um, I'm just gonna say this now. Um, this train is a one-trick pony train, but he's also a support main. So he main support train. They put it apparently an ADT main coin, poor fetter. And yet they're playing now. Okay. They put it played a fair amount of Zoe, but he does absolutely horseshit. And the person who does it play Nico. By the way, using the on hit rune, right? Do you have heal for some reason? Like, weird. Um, Drifted to chest red, or only our perspective. Tire. Here's the thing. She does it go on hit with her items. She goes AP Nico with items. But she does the on hit runes, which I found weird. Um, <laughs> it was a weird game to stay the lead. It was a very weird game. I'm just going to hit now. This game was, but uh, the stay the lead. By the way, after this video, I'm going to be recording a Zaya uh, champion guide. So you guys can, for those of you interested in Zaya, you can learn some stuff about how to play her, how to build her, stuff like that. Ha! Right now, I'm just rushing level 2 because I want to hit level 2. As soon as I can, because I'm looking at this ball lane, I'm like, okay, what the heck are they going to do that? Yep, rank them. Let's just hit level 2 and we can all in them. Because they're not going to have a lot they can do with level 2. Right, let's just hit level 1 and we hit level 2. But she got hooked there, which is unfortunate. A little level 2, so I'm like, alright, time to all in them. Get a few feathers down. 
train's gonna pull me in here. I can't want him to, but like they were walking back every time we walked forward. So what that? Healed him. You to heal, and then he flashed. It's just weird. But um, had the nun not healed right then and there, I actually could have killed the train. I would have pulled him with my E and killed the train. I should have held my silence there. I shouldn't have been played called for that. Because I was about to get the kill too. And I detached it. And I was about to turn in all of the train now that I had ditched it from him. Uh, it's unfortunate I got no, neither of the kills. But now train ditched me next to him. <laughs> Pretty unfortunate. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> like, seriously, dude, what do you expect to happen when you're playing train freaking support and your ADT is a nerd? Apparently him and Nerd were dueling in that game, so, um, okay, so your duo with the Nerd, what do you expect to happen when you're bot lane Nerd and Train, like, <laughs> and you're getting a Tona Zaya, like, an Astro ADT and an Astro Support, what do you expect to happen? They enter Temple, they ain't gonna go well for ya. Sadly though, there's Zoe that does not know how to use her range advantage to her advantage. Oh, that's really annoying. What is that lighting off of? The poster? It's lighting off the counter. Hold on, I need to, I need to fix it. That's, that's annoying. had left the game. Um, <laughs> so like, and when we do, it's like, I keep telling, I repeatedly will tell Tona to roam, leave me alone, bot lane for a while, throw that wagon and go and keep with him. Uh, teacher doesn't, which is gonna be unfortunate, cause he's gonna get like, I think a three or four level advantage on me at one point. Because he won't let me have troll lane at P. Shivity shivity shub. Yep, we don't teach train tour. Like, oh, yep, alright. Um, he's alone. By the way, I uh, came with a chillin' and built a while. Am I, is train like taking a long ass roam somewhere? Or is he disconnected? <laughs> trying to feel like he's disconnected. <laughs> That, that dude should be really careful. He's against two people right now. What the? Oop! I over my thing. Where was Jones fall up? He was very slow on that. If he reacted immediately, he would have died. He was allowed to live because Jones just did not respond quick. She was very slow with her respawn. Take the plate and then. Yeah, I should have went for the melee creep and then the cat to there. I would have got them both. Yeah, so we can go right here again with some of my W. Boot my attack piece up. Get another plate. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can actually hear the uh, game sound right now. I'm pretty sure you're able to hear them. Hopefully you're healing me more about like healing me much better than the game town though. <laughs> yeah, it becomes clear train is gone, so I'm just telling her whenever I get every time I get the chance to just Leave me alone, bot lane. Go mid and help the mid laner who's gone behind. Go top and help the top laner snowball or something. Way more useful that way. Right now you're just choking up SP down here and he's not having anyone choking it up. 
after he's able to get all the FP from dying in you. I'm only getting like half of it. Didn't have to bait there, but I was going, but I thought I would do that and make you to some gold I have. So, so far, this has been a very, you know, lackluster game in terms of pop off. I right? don't know. You're like, wait, when did the least start popping off to have that many kills like that? Uh, very soon. It's very soon. I have no idea why that guy did not ADT, because you're bait, you're, by building at an ADT, you're trishy. And then you're short range as well, you're, you're a melee after all. So you're basically making yourself into a tacky assassin. Look how quickly I wiped out that wave. Oh my god, no, it, it, it's so annoying. So Kane's AFK by the giant pet, but we didn't know he was AFK. We thought he was just waiting for Zoe, Tona, and me to get there and help him. And he just wasn't using his pain to let us know what he wanted. So we come over to help him, thinking that's what he's waiting for. Turns out, he's AFK because his laptop's about to die, so he's grabbing the church. And for one, you should have your you should already have your laptop plugged in. I was going to put there when he's here soon now. So, uh, let's just show it. Tiwa 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 One at that time. Tiwa Tiwa One. So you got three kills and an assist out of that. So he got an unofficial triple kill with an assist out of that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. And now they get the inferno out of it too. Just a very frustrating game. So one, when you're playing on a laptop, even if you're full power when you begin playing, you should just have it plugged in anyway, because this game is going to drain your laptop battery pretty quick. Um, two, you should not be AFKing out in the open like that, because if the enemy mid lane roams, and bot lane roams, and then the jungler comes along, they're going to get a free kill on you. Next, if you're going to AFK, don't just AFK. You need to let your team know you're AFK. Because if you're going to AFK, let them know, and let them know why. So if you just AFK, like, I would pull him for AFK, griefing, and feeding that game. So we got the fourth foot feeding. And Jonah got reported for griefing. And. Well, well there was one other reason that I reported her. But yeah. I also put Zoe for AFK because there were a few stages of the game where he just suddenly randomly came to a top in a bush and took the kill for a while. When she should have kept moving forward, like, you know, throw away her teammate. Then she's randomly put pushing when she should be like, you need to be pushing, like, when you even straight up said, group at five, when you group mid at five. What does he do to go to put push his bar? So, to group at five. <laughs> And grouping bot at that time was a bad idea because, uh, not grouping but foot pushing was a bad idea because they had a super hard fed at least who could kill anyone in the 1v1. So, yeah. Interesting choice that dude making. So I'm saying it now, there is a bug with someone's ult, at least from what it seems like to me, where Instead of your ult being thrown in the direction you want, it's actually thrown in a different direction sometimes. So like I'll be fated right like I'll be fated right in this direction. And instead of going in this direction, it randomly throws behind me or to one of my sides or in a diagonal or something. It randomly throws where I'm not directing it. Um 
So, I don't know like, what that is. I know there's a few other bugs with it at the moment too, so... Uh, oh, it's just a bit. And I know she has that Q bug as well at the moment. Like, the Q one is an issue, it's just where the feather, instead of coming like... In the one, like, the second feather, it's just... Right there, there's, all, there's the issue. You see how it, it curves? Like, when instead of going this way and going straight out, it does like this weird curve like this. Like, that weird. I don't know why I did that. So had that not happened, I would have died there. And I was like, okay, I know Sona's there. I know chance on knocking out unless Sona actually can land her ult. And I don't feel like the Sona's going to. It doesn't feel very good. So I had a feeling she wasn't going to. So I'm like, well, if I'm going to die anyways, let's see if I can take this. No, I had my ult actually thrown in the correct direction. He would have died. But it did. Why? Because I, I don't know why. Honestly, I really don't. Some weird bug at the moment, I'm guessing. So, he's 1, 2, and 5. I'm 2, 2, 2. Uh, I am not liking how the game went for me. Very, very unfortunate game. to 2 or 2 now. So now I got 0 plating. We got all but 2 of them. So. Pretty good. Now I think Tone's Ash is finally roaming with tonight. Sadly, it's too late for her to roam. So I can keep up now because now he's 3 levels ahead of me. And even though he had no items, I'm taking a shit kind of dance on him. Why? Because I... I'm just so many levels behind him, so the fact that he had no item doesn't matter. He had such a huge level of advantage that it, he's still getting tons of damage on me without items. If he actually had items there, he would have easily killed me already. It's just the fact he had no item allowed me not to have died there. Oh uh, my god. Very frustrating. And now I have to leave because, like, if I don't, he's just gonna kill me in, like, one fucking ability now. Wait, right, one. After getting on my tower once, watch how low it tells get before he leaves. Thing the place had already fallen. <laughs> Otherwise, that would be a lot of gold for him. But yeah, um, I'm. Did I have a friend talking about what I was talking about? I'm gonna be doing a Zaya guide, um, for those of you interested. So I went got a double there, so you can't do that to me anymore. Oh my god, 10 tier 2. Wait, that is why I'm. I've reported I'm gonna. A 10 tier 2 fucking elite. And now, by the way, this is another reason that we got reported. So, mere minute or two earlier, I told Tona, leave me alone in bot lane. I need the troll FP right now. What does Zoe do? A minute or two later, come bot lane to toke up FP. But not just toke up FP. What the? What the? I got like one minion out of that entire wave. So they didn't just soak up FP. They also just took a ton of CS. Oh, look at that. He should be dead right now. Why is he alive? He had a three level advantage over me. Which is literally the sole reason he was able to live there. That heal should not have even mattered. But the fact that... He was three loads ahead of me, allowed him to have enough tank tat in compared to, to my tat tat that I have to survive my burst. Yeah, it's very frustrating. Very frustrating. He should have died. The three level advantage saved it, that hard. 
Oh my god, it's so annoying, dude. It's really annoying. And someone just randomly top lane on her own. Interesting. I'm close to getting the first blood tower, though. But it's quite nice at a bot laner. Almost dead. Ooh, by the way, had my alt budged out again here and not a thrown behind him, I would have been dead. Oh, did they take a tower up here? No, do I don't get to have foot blood? Is Dona not autoing her? But Dona literally just sitting there, not autoing her. Because that at least was at 1 HP. Dona had to hit one all attack to have died. So was Dona not auto attacking that entire time? What? So a 13 1 elite god. <laughs> 2 of 5 Kane, 1 5 Zoe. So the reason I'm put not grouping right now. Look how low my tower was. If I grouped and they came someone came down here and took that tower. It wouldn't be safe for me to go after the tower anymore because I wouldn't have a tower to flee to for because I would have to go all the way up here to get to a tower. And by the way, I told you need to stay away from bot for a while. But if you do come to choke up at least SP from at least half of the wave. She doesn't understand what leaving me alone bot lane for a while means. Joe doesn't know, oh my god. The Dona man doesn't want me having any Dola SP apparently. He wants me to forever be like 20 levels below the fucking nerd. Very frustrating. I don't know how Nacha died to a 1 in 5 uh, Kane who had no items. Randomly Nico had to heal this game too, by the way. I think the Nico plays on hit and go and he's about changing the moves or something. Or he normally plays ADT and uh, got all filled this game and forgot to change the thumbs. You should take a night on Nico like every game. It's the only one thumbs you should take on Nico either teleport, cleanse, or a night. Not heal. <laughs> Barry is another potential option I got too, and it's thought is another one, but generally speaking, Nico does amazing into AD attached and plays Zed, so you don't. Really. By the way, uh, Zoe's gonna sleep for here. Watch where Zoe goes after landing her sleep. She just walks away entirely. That even saves some chunks of I don't even throw up the sleep. You can throw up the sleep while running away from her. So at least you would have half, like, half health for her. Look for her, like half health. No, there you don't. So it does not seem to know what to do with her champ. A good though we would have been able to Q chunk her like crazy there. But you can tell the person it's not a good Zoe because they didn't even attempt to Q chunk. Pretty annoying. It, it really is. It really is. I'm like 52 at the head of my, uh, of the Nara. Wow. So, by the way, no kill. I've gotten no kill at this game. Very annoying. The kill stars right now. You really want to consider if you're that goal. That way, Kane is just randomly not losing and randomly running further away from the teammate. He has a bunch of enemies on him. Probably running further away from the teammate.
By the way, again, the bug happened. Oh. It threw it behind me and I tried to throw it out here. It threw here. Had it threw here, we I would have lived and potentially have killed somebody as well. Yeah, Elise would have died. Elise was only enough to have died from the heat. But. Nope. That bug had been fucking me that entire game. That bug <laughs> fucked me the entire game. I think out of what? I think I threw my ult plenty of times that game. And only like two or three times did my ult go where I wanted it to. Which, which, which is pretty sad. That bug fucked me that entire game. By the way, that entire time? Do no kill! I was getting really tilted at this point. I'm an ADT that has no kill. A support. A donut support has more kills than me. This shitty, shitty don't Zoe has more kills than me. But that's pretty. The, the shitty. Kane has more kills than me. What? <laughs> wow. Frustrating game. I've gone, th I've gone like 24 minutes into the game without a single kill being dropped on me. Just a bunch of attacks. Like, oh my god, it was so frustrating. So we had 11 kills, seven of which I had participated in. That's like more than 50% kill participated in, but none of them were killed for me to get. That was unfortunate. Very fortunate. What I should have done instead of grabbing this here, I probably should have went for a Q attack potentially. Or instead of getting the deal, gone for a Q attack. Like, I should have gone Q attack early with how strong T's gone. In fact, that T's ultra getting a little strong. I mean, if T land, if I want to leave people land the T's T on me, I'm, I'm fucked. So, so, I just lost half my health, but so I, God knows what right there. I would need to be like, oh, I can pull in my side and fuck them. Nope. I would have been happy, but I would have been happy with fear. I guess that's what happens when they already have one. Three complete items, coupled with three boots, coupled with basically a complete item. That's what I'm calling gauge. Guys, basically a complete item in and of itself. Ugh. Zoe, by the way, had not bought any matches with me. He didn't buy any of the entire game, dude. Even though Tifa split every one of the decks of the match. Admittedly, I haven't bought any yet myself in all my decks of the match game. So. But I got a kill! And it was a shutdown! That put me in a hugely good mood. I'm like, oh, I finally have a fucking kill! Oh my god, I feel good. And the best part was, it was a shutdown. So, it was a bit more gold than a normal kill to Felt good to finally have one. Oh. He taken all. He took that entire wave from me, basically. <laughs> like, if you look at him, he's four and one. I'm a one in five, dude. I need gold. You have ten more DS than me, dude. Let me have gold. Now, admittedly, I sh probably should have taken this from him, but I was nice and I got it down low help for him so he could just eat or take it. I should have just took it from him. So he just took that tie away from me. But, and the fact he doesn't need, you know, a rift shuttle. But, 
Whatever. I would nice to let him have it. I just got a level one. Help him get a level up and let him take it. Sure enough, because that would have been so good for me. Seeing how gold does I've been in this game. Kane going alone. What have I poked about? Don't. I'm pretty sure I meant that already, but don't go alone in this game. At least he's basically fucking jungle version of a Blanc. He's basically the jungle version of a Blanc. You for team for team fight and let people put hurt in them. Um, and will one shot basically anything in a one v one. And she's hyper fed. Stop freaking splitting. <laughs> I'm like trying to turn me into the game and she's lit she like full build dude by try five. Like that that's really bad dude. That's really that that's that's really bad. Like I'm just looking at it like okay, this might not be winnable because um the way Kane and Sona and Zoe have been this game. Yeah, this might not be winnable, even though it's a 4v5 game right now. So, the enemy team's winning a 4v5 game right now. They might. They've been winning a 4v5 game since freaking level, since bot lane hit level. Basically, for the minute. Yeah, not another kill, and it's a shutdown. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, oh, oh. Yoi! Double kill. Double kill. Ooh, ooh. And I just quit that whole wave with one auto. <laughs> uh. Oh man, dude, that double kill just put me in such a good mood. I was in like a crazy good mood. I'm like, yeah, we win it. We are gonna win this. But the fact that the enemy team has been winning a 4v5 game this entire game so far shows how bad these two players have been. To the point that this team is winning a 4v5. I mean, that's just how bad these two people are. Also, not mention this person that would need death right now. I'm not doing so hot my toe with five, but you know, I'm getting one shotted by a super hard fed attack. And again, I, I keep not buying Q attacks. I don't know why I was falling on Q attacks so much that game. I was really greeting for my three item power pike. I should have got a huge at before even starting like on my second item because by that point Elite was already pretty strong and Nico was trying to get pretty strong. So here the case of Zoe AFK. She just ran through, moved this way and then dropped in the bush and not moved. That didn't type anything, not like the typing. The top moving and Kane runs in alone again and almost died. He <laughs> chilled in on me way too much there. Did I even use my play call yet? I don't know. Did not take it on the way when he none of the teams in the near. Oh, hit the leaf. Like, dude, two of you can not to be what, five left right now, dude. Like, they're five left. It's like, <laughs> no, what are you thinking? Randomly, he's always just like pushing, you know, like, good at all these, like, all the fucking, like, dead, stupid moves. I don't know why Nico did that, though. <laughs> why did he ran into a whole enemy team? Oh, shit. Um, got her tough kill. Like, we killed three of them, or two of them, and they killed two of us. Remember, that would, uh, what? Four v four? Kind of situation, like, Actually, I think there were more of them in that fight, because I think Kane might not have been there. No, he was there. I don't know. But yeah, um... Should have had to match my Q-Test. I should have got my Q-Test way earlier. I 
made a mistake there not having my QSS already. Like, I don't know why I didn't have it. I don't know clue why I was stalling on the QSS so god dang long. Literally, the only people. Every time I die to one of these two. And the QSS would have been so much better to, at this point, but. Finally, have some matter system. Also, keep in mind they have Infernal and we don't. So they have to. By the way, we win this fight, and for some reason my team don't want to. Like, I think in my head, God, just fight this. We win this. We can win this. Now, now we don't get least here. Now we gotta wait for the rest of our team to come in before we win it. there. Try to back off. Uh, we want to try to take that tower. But they just don't want to like loop up together mid quickly. They want to take forever on it. And by the time they do, it's already too late. Oh, it's fuck train, dude. It's fuck train. You know how to win the game and they just don't want to win it, apparently. Now I'm like, what happened here? It's like, okay, you wanted us to come here to Baron. Are we gonna do Baron? Apparently not. Kane's on its own top lane, flip push him. <laughs> By the way, Kane's just standing. What, what was Kane doing? Now he comes in the fight. After I uh, get assassinated. So yeah, QSS today would have been good because if I could use gone out of the cocoon and gone away before he one shot me. Very unfortunate. <laughs> That's her heal and her flash right there. I don't know why to use her heal. <laughs> she already flashed out of danger. I don't know why she took flash and uh, took heal in the first place, dude. At all, man. Made no sense. I freaking cleanse with him so much better in terms of we match up to Zoe can't land her one shot ability combo which is her E two. Okay, that was a terrible bot to throw, you should have threw it like in the center pathway. No escape. Right on the very edge like right there. That means it'll That means I'd have to be walking close to the wall for it to hit me. I doubt walking close to the pit. And it meant I avoided it altogether. And you put it more in the center of the pathway, it would have actually hit me. Zoe did, was that her own flash or was that a flash they had toward? I hope it wasn't her own flash because then now she'll be, because then she'll be immobile for five minutes unless someone, unless she managed to pick up another one, pick up someone else's flash or something. 
Just on my Q to see if they're doing it. We had no vid on really anyone, so do my Q to see if it hits anyone. If it hits anyone, then I know people are in there. Yeah, if it hits on my lethal temple block. But my lethal temple block. But so by the way, it's on their own. Uh, that's very good to see. The Tona, Kane, and Zoe, that game were like. I had no idea how to fix it. Randomly going off on the home. Can't randomly adapt the enemy. Apparently, three people need to go deal with a 1 in 4 A try to flip pushing. But okay. And now they're just gonna look around the air to see if they find him. Like, dude, Vlad on his own could have took care of him. You didn't not don't out as always you guy didn't have to go either. Didn't have to go. If Vlad would have been enough. So now I'm stuck here trying to defend it and hit it on my own. I didn't get killed. Use my ult defensively. I do have a QSS now, though, so I'm good. So now they're trying to do Baron. But then they're gonna immediately back off of Baron. To go to Elder. It's like. What? You know, you start Baron. And now you're running across, all the way across the, to the other side of the map to do Elder. Without even finishing the Baron. Like, that's such a huge waste. Why you start Baron then if you're not playing the finish? So, Vlad's gonna. Instead of coming to the pit and helping us take him quicker. Two D Star Zero Z should have just ran from her. It would have been easy for me to do. Like he can't he not at a point in the game. So I'm like, okay, so here I was thinking we win the team fight guys. We win this. There's three of them, four of us. We win this fight. <laughs> Aatrot had no fighting power. Um the Nico had not a lot of fighting power in of herself, like, she got a decent amount, but come on. Um, we, we win the, the fighting power to her. Come on, Zoe, hit a bubble. Kane, TT her. Jonah, oh, her or something. Somebody engage. I would engage myself, but I'm the ADT, it's not my job to engage there. Because if I do it, I'm gonna get caught and die to the elite, okay? It, it's one you need to start the engage. We win this fight. It's like, and there we go, we won the fight. I had to be calling Kane mean enough to pay. Like, what? Come on, I'm trying to recall him. Like, come on, one of days. Whatever. I guess I'm going to run that with gold now, so I can complete my smitter. <laughs> what a frustrating game to take with you guys, it really was. But, you see, <laughs> 39, 20 tests. Killed a total heavily in the affair, but keep in mind, 31 of those, 39 kills are on her, meaning only 8 other kills. Only eight kills on other people, meaning that Ava's wrong. 
it's a team's entire fighting power. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> We also have multiple people with Smith and I mean, they can probably buy that car alone, well, luckily we were there to save it that. And W was able to buy time for the rest of the gameplay. So I ping them on the way here, but that I ping it. And they take it. I'm like, really? I kinda So I'm gonna take this instead and watch Zoe. He tries to take that one with a two, it's like really Zoe. Join one that's off on her own. Luckily, they didn't have to find out to even kill a Tona, a super mega Trishy Tona. That's how weak they are. Yeah, I sure you'd make two that so I wouldn't see two C T and be able to get away. So I wouldn't have to use my ult, but I didn't see myself dying there, so it's like and I didn't even think I was gonna have to use my ult for that at That's the thing, so I didn't use my two that stable so that way at least gets on me and cocoons me and stuff I can do that. Not dying, but I hate to have a lot of attack speed. Good game. Well, I should have done so that the actual guy had the head printer because the lifeline patch that we had would have made me hard to kill more magic to start with that and more get more attack damage anyway than GA. And the arm from GA isn't even in a creator in this one because A Trot doesn't do enough damage to me. No, it doesn't do enough damage to me to worry about. So, yeah. GA wouldn't have done much use. Um, so, yeah. Ma would have been better, so head drinker would have been better. Plus, would have gave me 10 more. Uh, if the game had ended here, Ma would have gave me 10% more TDR, so I would have had 30%. Which is actually pretty good. Though, at match rank, my boy is already on a ridiculously short cooldown. But, yeah. Um, they have 39 kills, we got 31. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so yeah, if Train hadn't DC there, they would have won that game easily. It's the fact that we had the number of vans that gave us any chance to come back into that one. And the fact that the perch with all the kills was not a team fighting champ at all. If Nico had all the kills, then the Nico would have been doing something. Cause Nico's quite good for team fighting. Perch if had gone the great tournament setup, which I use my tilt whenever I play Nico. I never used Nico with anything but Great Draw Augment set up. It's like her best way to play, in my opinion. Um, and I never used Nico at an ADT, in the ADT system because uh, on hit build I feel like it's just not that great. And going to Great Draw Augment set up at an ADT role means your team does not have an ADT. And uh, yeah, you don't want to do that to your team. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Wish more ki more the just had been killed, but whatever. Head drinker would have been better than the BF toward considering what how the game went, but yeah. And I should have bought a Q attack after completing my Action Fever instead of, you know, after completing like my IE. <laughs> that uh yeah. Not my best attack in there, so definitely should have bought Q attack earlier. Should have got a instead should got like maybe even gotten a head drinker before finishing Infinity yet, who knows? But yeah, head drinker would definitely a better get than be a droid, considering how that game was going. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, tap that like button. If you're not subscribed, do subscribe. And if you haven't hit the notification bell, smack it in the face. my league break. Okay, there we go. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.